It's Laura Gellerday. We're going to look at Laura's makeup and her makeup. And I've also got quite a surprise at the end, which kind of transforms her makeup. And I don't think Laura Geller knows about it. Nobody knows about it but me. And you have to stay to the end. And then I'm going to show you some magic. But first of all, why Laura Geller? You know, I've been hearing about Laura Geller for years, haven't you? Uh, she's on, it's either QVC or HSN, and I never can remember. I never can remember which one I watch, and I never can remember which one I don't watch, or if I watch both of them, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm gonna, so Laura Geller has been making makeup for years, and I haven't tried it, and I don't even know why, but um, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do it now, and especially because, you know, my girlfriend, um, Candy Seema of Life in Your 70s. She tried it and I thought she's enjoying it, so I've got to give it a try. Meanwhile, I'm sure you're asking yourself, what is this? Well, you know, why is your hair in, in rollers and stuff like that? So uh, there's a wonderful man in Milan named Caputi, I think, maybe, and he's a hairdresser. And I've been watching all of these hairdressers and nobody combs out hair. Nobody, they all, they all kind of mush it with their fingers. So I thought, today's the day I'm going to mush it with my fingers. And I say this takes guts because I've never done this before. But I thought, you know what? I'll just do my hair, you know, in front of you guys and see, you know, if it's a je ne sais quoi, French, Italian look where we just kind of, they all go like this, you know? and like this, and they don't use a comb. God forbid they use a comb. So, oh, I forgot to put on earrings. Well, oh well. So this is, so this is my je ne sais quoi. Maybe it's kind of French because it's not perfect, but I thought that I'd try this. And I find that when I use those rollers, that it makes it kind of straighter than I can. And maybe I'll, you know, they all kind of go, you know, and then the hair just kind of falls beautifully into place. Well, that isn't quite me, and I don't know how bad I look, but I thought, well, I'm going to give it a try. So that's it. So, wait, wait, wait. You know, it doesn't look bad, does it? I kind of look I like the looks of hair that isn't quite done. I wish I'd put on earrings, but you can't have it all, right? Okay. So let's start. So what happened was I wanted a makeup that I needed to go to the market and I needed to put on something fast. And I thought I've always liked powdered makeup. And remember when we, what was that powdered makeup that we used to wear that you'd put your, you know, you'd, well, anyway, whatever it was, I wanted to try powdered makeup because I wanted something, let's say at four o'clock, I know it's crazy, but I go to the market late. So at four o'clock, I'd go to the market. And I wanted something where I could put on makeup fast and be out the door. And that's how I felt Laura Geller's makeup was like. So I ordered some makeup and I made a mistake. I ordered, I made a mistake. I ordered porcelain first and that was too light. So then I ordered, I ordered, I ordered fair. And this is baked, baked Balance and Brighton. And I ordered Fair. And I think this is the right, I think this is the right color for me. And so the first time I put it on, my, my, it was just too dry for my skin. And so today I've done all of my skincare and I bought, I think this is necessary. This is her spackle. This is her primer. And I think this is necessary. So. I put some of this Spackle Skin Perfecting Primer Base to Tint. I didn't see any, I didn't see any tint. But so I bought this because I felt that it, the, the, it was too dry when I put it on. So what you're supposed to do, if you can open up, um, and you get this brush. I think, I, I don't know if I paid extra for it, but it's a Kabuki brush. And look, it goes, see? So if you want it loose, you do this. If you want to get more, um, more 
uh, powder, you get use that. So, so let's start it. So I, I'm going to show you. Do I have to? Well, here. So remember, I've got uh, that um, uh, primer on, and you can see that you know what? It's just the color of my skin. You can barely tell that I've got it on, right? So I. It's kind of amazing because you can't even see that I've got it on. So if you want kind of a, a look that is um, very natural looking, look at it. You just, you can't, wait a second. So I'm really working hard. I mean, look, so you get this all over and you know, it. It almost doesn't look like you're wearing makeup. I don't know if it's because of the color. I don't know how I can be color matched so easily. But so, but what I saw, and we're gonna fix it, but I saw some wrinkles that I hadn't seen before. And so I thought, ooh, you know, some of this, but wait, don't, don't judge it yet. So I'm gonna put this also on my, a second, on my eyes. Now, I've already put on my eyebrows and I put on some eyeliner so you don't have to be bored and watch me do it. Okay, so that's the ba uh, balance and brighten. Um, uh, so that's the first level. And then what I did was I bought this baked full, the best of the best, baked full face basics. And so this has, a, um, it's got a, a, a bronzer two highlighters, which I think is unnecessary, and a blush. And I love these eye um, eyeshadows. They're really pretty. I can't wait to show them to you. It, they're so easy and I love them. I also got a fair, see, it's a lighter bronzer because you, if, you have to do, the, if you use this, it's really, it's very, very strong. And it's too strong for my skin. Not that my skin can't take it, but it's just, wait a second. So this is the bronzer, okay. And I have to put it on lightly because otherwise it's too, it's too dark. Of course, now it's not even showing up. So I'm gonna take some of the darker, here you can see it. So it's very light, but see, you can see these lines in my face, but they're, wait, they're going to be gone, you'll see. Um, so this is the bronzer and it goes on very lightly, but you have to be, it's, it's, there's a lot of pigment in here. So you've got to, you've got to use, you know, a light brush so that you don't have all that pigment. And I'll put a little on my lids at the same time. Okay. Then, so that's the bronzer. And then the, the, um, the blush, wait a second, I'm going to use the same brush. Okay, so I'm going to use, and this is called, what is it called? I mean, Laura Geller has probably sold gazillions. It's called Bink, Pink Buttercream. She's, she, I mean, how long has she been on QVC? Um, a long time. Oh, you know what else? While I'm doing this, would you guys um, subscribe or, and, or, and share? and tell other people about my channel so that I can grow. Um, see, this is what bothers me. I've, I've got these, these lines right here and, and I think this kind of emphasizes them, but as I say, you're gonna be surprised. Okay, so I use this blush and it kind of warms up my skin. And you know what? You almost don't even need a highlighter because do you see how it almost has highlights in um, by itself? Do you see how, but I'll try it on, why not? You know, I've got it. So I'm gonna try, well, I'll try one of the highlights, one of the highlights that it, that's in here, okay? I'm gonna try it. But see, I'm, I'm using a very, very soft brush and I'm, I'm just gonna just use a little of it so it does make your skin, uh, it's very radiant. Radianty? Radianty. I didn't do my eyes because I didn't want to 
But I've got this um, Bobbi Brown and it just kind of changes the color. And I'll put some over here. Whoops. So this, the, the peach counteracts the blue or the purple that I've got. And it kind of goes away. And then I do need to use a brush on it though. I'll use a brush to get it into the hard to spackle places. So, you know, that's, that's pretty fast, right? Now, one of the things now what I, that I love is the Laura Geller eyeshadows. And she's got three colors and oyster, sunstone, and almond. So I'm going to use the, the sunstone above my, above my kind of my crease. I'm going to put that here and I'm going to use that oyster, which is really, it's really a light color. It almost is looking, looks like gold. Do you see how pretty that looks? I love it. So I find it very, um, really pretty, really easy to use. I mean, I, I love these eyeshadows and I'm not sure why, but there's something about them that is just so easy to use and they're translucent. And then they have the dark one. Let's see where I can use the dark one. I, a little bit up here, but see, even the dark one, it's, it's really, it's very translucent. So it's very easy to use. You can bear, you can't even make a mistake with these. They're that good. I mean, I, I really love it. So, and that's the dark one. Do you believe it? Done, you know, like so quickly. So I, I do, I mean, how can you have a favorite at the eyeshadows? And I know she makes some um, uh, big, you know, eyeshadow palettes, but some of them are so big, I wouldn't even know where to start. But these three, that's all you need. So I, I'm putting on the mascara now. You know, I always put on this um, lash primer by Dior and this MAC mascara. I should wear a pink lipstick. I kind of like having the blush and the lipstick me, 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 mix. So this is not pink. Um, I don't know what it is, but this is um, Lisa Eldridge and it's called Dance Card. I'll put a lipstick pencil. This one's uh, ag ag Magnolia. Is it Magnolia? But it's by Nicole Williams. You know, she's got a line of lipsticks. And this is called uh, Organza. Well, that was close. Magnolia, Organza. So we put on the lipstick. Now, I think that this transforms Laura Geller makeup into something spectacular. And this is um, Lancome and it's called Fix It, Forget It. Now this is a setting spray. I've never used a setting spray because I've always thought that it was just one extra thing that, that companies wanted you to buy. I, I never saw the, you know, the, you know, the value in it. But I was at Sephora one day, you know me and Sephora, and I, what happened? I was, I was buying some lipstick and the, the Lancome rep came up to me and said, would you like some help? And I said, sure. And I said, I'm looking for a blusher to go with this lipstick. So she went and she cho chose a, um, a NARS blusher for me and she loved the color. And I loved, I loved the way she put on makeup. It was very subtle. It was really beautiful. And I loved the way um, and I love the color that she f chose for me. So I thought, yes, tell me more. She said, you must buy this. You, you have no idea what it can do for you. And so I trusted her. I trusted her ta taste in, in colors and in, sub in, in um, uh, I bought a lipstick she recommended and a blush she recommended. So I thought, try this. 
Now, wait a second. Now look at this. Now it's it's got to dry. And suddenly you don't see the lines. They're gone. All those lines, they're gone. Now this is kind of this is kind of wet. So it has to oh, it has to dry. But it just kind of melts the makeup and maybe I need to pat it so that it'll dry. It's it's so warm today. But here, it's too shiny. But it just kind of blends everything together and it, it looks so good. I've been, I've been wearing this, well, I've started wearing this all the time because it's just kind of a miracle for, for my face. It, it, it kind of illuminates it, it melts things together and I think it makes powder foundation um, so much better. So, because I think that I've got too many lines for powder, but when I put on this Lancome, I don't know, I don't know what magic, I don't know why it does it. You know, it really is magic. So, and look, look at the eyes. How fast was that? Right? I mean, you just kind of put it on and it's, it's illumin the, the eyeshadows um, iridescent. Well, it isn't that iridescent. It doesn't shine, but it's iridescent. Okay, it's iridescent. And you put a really, look at how dark, look at how dark this looks, right? But do you see any of that on, no. Look, that isn't really that dark. It's a beautiful shadow. I really get, I'm really knocked out by it. And you, as I say, if you use the blusher and the bronzer with a light touch, um, you can see that it's just, it's, it's lovely. It's just lovely. So this is my um, high jump into Laura Geller. I hope you enjoy it. I no sooner finished recording the video when I walked into the kitchen and made lunch for my husband and myself. And I'm sitting there and I'm watching the video to see if it's good or not, and what's wrong, et cetera, or what's right. And um, my husband looks at me and says, Gee, your makeup looks wonderful. Well, thank you, honey. And I just wanted you to know how good my makeup looked to my husband, the producer, director. Thought you'd get a kick out of that. <laughs>